Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and today we are doing Life Stream Dragon. We got a new skill for Leo from this latest event, Mark of the Dragon Heart. Beginning duel, we add two Morphtronic Lanterns, which is this card. We only have two in the game. We're soft locked with level up rewards. And then you add Life Stream Dragon and Power Tool Dragon to your extra deck. And then you get two Special Summon Morphtronic Lantron when you special summon power tool dragon he comes out in defense which is actually really good and uh it can only be used once for duel during the turn this effect is activated you can only synchro summon monsters that list a synchro monster as material so once you special summon him you're incredibly restricted just to life stream dragon but he's a level 8 tuner what does he do in this card is special, sorry, Synchro Summon. You can make your life points become 4,000. So you don't exactly gain, I guess. You take no effect damage if you were to lose. If this face-up card on the field would be destroyed, you can banish one equipped card from the graveyard instead. So you can bring out your power tool, search and equip, put the equip on the power tool, get rid of the equip, bring out your life stream, now you'll be safe with his protection still in the graveyard. He's a cool little monster. He's 2,900. How are we making use of this monster, though? We are using equip cards. Only three that we get with our power tool. We're using two power tools. I'm using Solemn Scolding. Very, very strong card. Just takes 3,000 life points. Now, we can take 3,000 life points, live stream them right back, use it again, the only other spell cards we have are equip, so nothing can block our scolding unless we were to bluff and equip, but that would be a really, really bad place. So uh, all we need from there are Lantrons. So we're using two more Lantrons, probably too many Lantrons, because as you can see here in the deck list, you eventually get four Lantrons thanks to the skill. So probably a little too many Lantrons. Sorry, let me uh, get this a little more even. But, uh, I don't know, we could probably cut two, go with Kiteroid or something just to survive a little better. Or maybe one more uh, level 3 tuner, one more level 4 monster, just to get the consistency pretty good. But the other four combos we're using, we're using Morphtronic in level 4s. Morphtronic Scope, and I should say he could special summon a Morphtronic from his hand. And then we're using Eccentric, yeah, sorry, Eccentric Boy. Very good one. He can synchro from his hand, but it just negates your monster's effect. It's okay though, because we can still just go power tool and then straight into lantern, go into our live stream. We might not have the uh, support in the graveyard like we usually do, but it's still a great play to do with our eccentric boy. We also have something like Scrap Archfiend, who has no effect anyway, gets up to 2700. We got Stealth Ninja, we got Samurai Destroyer, we got Amatrix, we even have Hot Red Dragon and a Black Rose. So tons going on with this deck. I didn't make this deck to COG, it's just to get live stream out, it's just to get the combos out. Really gotta lean on Solemn Scolding, it's the whole point of the deck. Lose all the life points, gain all the life points back, win the duel. Not a really clear win con, no real OTKs or anything like that. So really it's just a meme to get out live stream and there is a live stream cutscene believe it or not So that's actually pretty cool for little Leo very cool stuff guys So uh, I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching All right, here we are facing Supreme King Jade and we're going first Let's see what our boys got first. We got a show in the mark of the dragon heart. We got that eccentric boy with slinging We're gonna just pass we could have set the Lantron. Setting Lantrons are really good first turn play. It's almost, almost like a Wing Karibo. Not quite as good as a Wing Karibo. Because it just has to be in defense position, sent to destroyed by battle, and sent to the graveyard. While Wing Karibo is much better. Anyway, we normal summon Eccentric Boy. That's going to be Power Tool Dragon. We already have our uh, equip. We already have a Power Tool Dragon equip. We could put it on him, we could use the Lantron. It's worth putting the Equips in the graveyard for your life stream. Still gives them that protection. We're gonna bring out our Lantron. 
go with our live stream. I forgot to throw the equip away. You gotta equip the power tool. You may not want to because it just throws it in the graveyard, but you want to throw it in the graveyard for this boy. Live stream dragon. He gets to rip off the armor and become a real dragon. He's been a real dragon all along. He's even dragon type now. So here he comes. We don't have any life points to gain. We don't have any equips in our graveyard, but we're still gonna hit him. And we still have Solemn Scolding, so... Solemn Scolding's all you need. He's got an Inferno, he's gonna go with Mask Change. As soon as the little monster comes out... Or actually, we could've... Solemn Scolding now, but we don't. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get over the 3k. In just a moment, we could've used a better equip, but this boy can get there. Once he gets an equip, he gains 800 attack for each equip card. 1600 which should get a mage power, but we finally get our scoping. Scoping's going into power tool. Once again, we do have two power tools in the deck thanks to the skill. Now we got the equip, bumps us up to 3300, and then it's nothing but swinging from then on out. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Zuzu. We're going second. Mark of the Dragon, Heart. So we got our Lantrons, too many Lantrons. We got Vidion, he's gonna throw away a Maestra to bring out, or sorry, he threw away Soprano to make a, no, sorry, I'm misreading everything. He threw away Solo to bring out a Maestra. Then he had a Soprano, now he has a Bloom Quad. Gets his own little cutscene of this crazy, crazy monster. Pretty intense monster, honestly. Now we got Solemn Scolding. We're gonna set the Lantron. He's gonna bring out the Solo again. He swings at the Lantron, but when Lantron's destroyed in defense position, Take no damage the rest of the turn. It's a pretty good first turn play. So now we're going Scopin. Scopin's going to bring out Vidion. That's Samurai Destroyer. Guess what? Dunk on him. Samurai Destroyer dunks on Bloom. You're just a regular monster with 1k attack. Absolutely dunked on him with the mage power. He's done for, guys. Now he's going with another Soprano. He goes Flash Fusion. We're letting this happen. We could stop anything. He does with our Solemn, guys. Stop anything we want whatsoever. We'll just stop at the Shiberta's effect. Just trying to banish our monsters. We say, hey, those are our monsters. Leave them there. He has to end his turn. Clearly nothing can stop the almighty Samurai Destroyer as he hits for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. Keyboard out of my face. Um, I don't quite remember this duel. I'll have to see. So we have the Lantron. We just need a tuner of some sort. Our boy passes over there. We're going to use Eccentric Boy to bring out our Scrap Fiend. We're gonna not trigger Destiny Draw. Now he's gonna use Kwakimiru Diamond Core. I cannot wait to make my Kwakimiru deck. They're unbanlisted. I mean, Maximus is still banlisted. The moment Maximus is unbanlisted, this deck is too much. May not be too much with just one here. He's going Kwakimiru Ice. Still not quite lethal. And we could gain every bit of life point back if we just summon our live stream, which is what this deck tries to do. So we just need a tuner, guys. We get the tuner. Scopin. Scopin's got a special summon slingin'. That's Power Tool Dragon. Here it comes. We get the Power Tool cutscene. He's a mech dragon, technically a machine. Now we search our equips. Here I choose not to use the equip. Or sorry, no, I do use the equip. Now we're gonna use Heart of the, uh, sorry, Mark of the Dragon Head Heart. We destroy 
the Quack Mirror Ice. We could have gone to live stream. It's pretty good using life or going into live stream even when you use her equip because then the equip is in the graveyard and he can banish from the graveyard to not be destroyed. So uh, that's pretty good, but it's not particularly going to help us here. I know how Quacky Mirror works. All he has that can stop me, because he already threw two ice away. There's no way he has more ice. The only way he can stop me would be a Maximus. He's not going to randomly bring out a Maximus. He does make a really good play here. He brings out a level 4. That's an Xyz. This is something that wasn't even around when Quacky Mirror was on fire. So you get a... Banish. He banishes my poor power tool dragon. Destroys Lantron, but when Lantron is destroyed in defense position, I take no damage. So, uh, we survive. Now we get another Scopin. We get our power tool back. Scopin's gonna bring out the, uh, what is this dude called? Vidian. That's a Samurai Destroyer. We swing over the Sandman. Samurai Destroyer, even though he was 2600 and Sin was 2700. He could still swing over Sin because you completely negate out their effects. Samurai Destroyer is so strong. He doesn't just stop them from activating. No effects. He loses that bonus attack. He accidentally draws his Iron Core and has to scoop, guys. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Joey Wheeler. We're going second. Showing him that mark of the dragon. He's got a life point boost. We got a scope in. We got solemn scolding. That's what it's all about, guys. He's going blue eyes. Or sorry, he's not going blue eyes. He's going sage into buster whelp. We're gonna set our scolding. We're gonna go with eccentric boy. Swing over him. We got all tuners. No regular monsters. Now he's going to try to use that buster whelp. We just hit him with solemn scolding, guys. It's such a strong card, Solemn Scolding. We get to use multiple of them as long as we use our life stream. Right now we're bricking with nothing but tuners and we're still winning this duel. Just 800 at a time. All we had to do was really save the Solemn Scolding for something good. Now, Eccentric Boy can only do synchros from his hand. So we would have to keep slinging in the hand to do a synchro. You can't normal summon him to do a synchro like that. So... Uh, we had lethal with all three. I just want to go with three swings because he did have a delay, but it was most likely a DNA surgery. And a one solid solemn scolding takes the duel. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a my val. I think I think this person bricks out, but I think we had a pretty competent field to stop most of their plays. So she's doing harpies hunting ground. Let's say she's straight harpies. We are gonna wait. He passes. We have a Solemn Scolding. We have an Eccentric Boy. Get to swing. All we really need to do is wait for his first normal summon. Stop his first normal summon. And he can't chain anything to it. Can't chain Swallow's Nest. Can't chain Forbidden Lance. His monster's just gone. So we would have a second turn to swing. All we would need is a monster. We might even be able to get away with something like a mage power and uh, finish him off through there. All sorts of stuff. Livestream's pretty cool. It's nothing to uh, go crazy about. It's not competitive. It's just uh, meme deck anime monsters. For sure, for sure. But it's cool to get little Leo RPs. His mech dragon turns into a real dragon. He becomes a real boy, guys. Pretty cool stuff. Can't wait to get into Kawaki Miru's. We still got Mech Lords, all sorts of stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, guys.